Chapter 4, Part 2. I turned toward the house on the top of the lawn. Then I held the head in front of me in both hands and pretended I was going to punt it onto the roof. Okay, okay, Carl Beth cried. Don't kick it, Steve. I kept the head in front of me. Where did you get the mask? You know that weird little party store a couple of blocks from school? I nodded. I seen the store, but I'd never gone in. That's where I bought it. There's a back room. It was filled with weird, ugly masks. That's where I got mine. All right, I cried happily. I handed the car back back her head. You guys are creeps, Sabrina muttered, pulling her car up against the rain. She pushed me out of the way and wiped the grass stain off the car across forehead. I really didn't want to tell you, car Beth moaned. I wasn't making a story up about the mask. It was so terrifying. Yeah, sure. I rolled my eyes again. Please don't go there, Carl Beth begged. She grabbed my arm tightly. Please, Steve, please, don't go to that party store. I pulled my arm away. I narrowed my eyes at her, and I laughed. Too bad I didn't take her seriously. Too bad I didn't listen to her. It might have saved me from a night of endless horror. Chapter 5, Next Time Peaks.